Hello, this is Palico Padge and welcome to another episode of Padge Plays. This has been a while since I've done this series. Um, because of all the rubbish that's been going on in my life with moving and have to find houses and move stuff and other things like that, I haven't really had a chance to do this. This is something I like to do as a sort of end of the week thing. And uh, because with the Curious Expedition, I've been recording two weeks in advance along with Darkest Dungeon and I've just finished my last character for the the rundown for these two weeks on the curious expedition it seemed a little pointless just to start a fresh character to do an introductionary uh, expedition with him i might as well just wait and then start a fresh one when i'm set up in my new place with the internet so i thought why not let's bring back let's bring back patch plays and as i said it's something which i will be bringing back to the channel when i've got a bit more time which is hopefully going to be in the next couple of weeks and it will be a, a weekly occurrence and i was thinking what game can i play if you've seen previous patch plays i tend to bring games from my past out to the forefront just to show you the, my background in gaming and, and what I enjoyed playing as I grew up and hopefully that lets you know a little bit more about me and you know the type of games I like to play and hopefully my sense of humor when it comes to games as well and this for me was a classic well I say this this isn't the game I played as a kid because it's brand new but this is a a, a version of Drug Wars which was what I used to play uh, back in the day of my friends Here's a story for you. Back when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I used to work at a pub. And uh, back then, it was one of those places where um, you were behind the bar, quite quiet, and you had the locals come in, and you always had that one guy, that wheeler dealer, that Dell boy, who would come in and he would be selling rabbits or ferrets or puppies or... That's quite, yeah, random as far as that's concerned. Or, uh, you know, like car radios and one time he came in and he was selling this really old ibm laptop and i'm talking like the really old chunky ones you know the ones which are like as, as thick as war and pieces as, as the as size of the book is concerned and um, instead of having like a touchpad or anything like that he had that little like foam clothy little mouse pointery thing in the middle of the keys and it was crap i <laughs> i bought it for 40 pound and it would not run any of the local uh, of the of the main games but at the time i was going through a stage where i didn't have a lot of money so i was playing a lot of abandoned way games and i had this game drug wars on on, on the laptop and i used to take this laptop up to my friends back when i used to uh, uh, delve into the social side of the dopes and uh, me and my friends used to sit around smoke a bowl and take it in turns to play this and try and beat, your, beat each other's score and for me I have fond memories of that and because this is like the latest up to date one it's one I've played every so often just off and on just just to have a whiff of nostalgia although I'm not quite sure on the actual uh, breakdowns of the drugs I, I don't think they're, they're quite as um, uh, similar as they were in the old game they, they seem to uh, have no pattern to where they're being sold it's just as and when or at least not something I've noticed anyway but that's probably just me not playing it a lot so I thought last video of my two weeks of recording intensely let's chill out let's let's have a game of the dope wars or dope or the dope game as it is now uh, called apparently so as i said i've played it a while uh, we've had a few goes on this uh so we'll, we'll go for it from the start and as usual i will be commentating because that's what i do a car then drive to get that kind of cash i'm going to start slanging around starkham but i might need to borrow some cash from sweaty mike now I'm guessing that's not a name that he gets called to his face. <laughs> you know, you don't go up to a guy and go, hey mate, I hear you sweaty Mike. Can I borrow some money please? You like to get a gun pointed at your nose, but never mind, new game. Now as you can see, I have been playing a fair few. You start on 15 and as you successfully create them all the way through, you, you work your way up to a, well, a whole year, but we, we haven't got there just yet. We're gonna stick to the traditional 30, which is how it was back in the day. That asshole Preston called ahead, saying something about you needing a loan. Sweating my eyes, you cautiously. I know you've probably heard about my policies on this kind of thing. And seeing as how I don't know you, we can do an introductory 2Gs with a $50 a day interest. That cool? Look at me all decked out in the, in the big aviators, thinking I'm Tom Cruise. You pause for a second, not really sure how to proceed. Uh, sure, bro, you say as you smile weakly. Sounds good to me, mang. You say while playing it off cool. Well, as long as the terms are reasonable, sir, you say with a thoughtful nod. Now, I think 
Did that last one sounds more like me? As long as the terms are reasonable, sir. I think I think that's definitely a Padge saying, so we'll go with that. A little bit of respect. Smart man. He gives you an approving nod. You have two weeks to give me back that money, and trust me, you don't want to miss that deadline. Now get the fuck out of here. You nod then head out to make your fortune. Boom! Money's two grand. Right, so if you're not familiar, you basically start off with selling the, the smaller drugs and then you work your way up to selling the bigger drugs and every so often there'll be spikes in the prices and drops in the prices depending on what's going on in this version uh, it is done by you traveling on a bus in between places and a crazy woman will tell you what's going on sometimes sometimes she just says random crap to you but we'll, we'll get to that so we have two grand uh what do we do what do we do um speed's quite expensive at the moment uh, opium's okay, loot are up there. Opium can go over a couple of grand though, so let's buy the maximum of those, which is two. And uh, let's move on. So we've got a. Uh, this is if you want to see what's special. There are certain things set at certain places around the uh, uh, around the map, which we, we need to look at. Um, right, this is my bad. I shouldn't have pressed this. We'll ignore that. There we go. So this brings up the map. Uh, we're in Garville at the moment, so it says the Lone Sharks there. Uh, I believe there's something at Downtown, Shorf, Hillside, Ball Station and Crockford. So we'll head to Downtown first. The old lady sticks her finger over two knuckles deep into her nose and says, Did you hear that some assholes knocked over the pharmacy in Shorf and are selling loot dirt cheap? Thanks, crazy old lady. Hmm, you reply. Might be time to stock up then. Next stop, downtown! The bus driver bellows over the loudspeaker. You glance back as the old lady then stands near the door and wait. F oh, and then stand near the door and wait for the bus to stop moving. Alright, so. Lo oh, loot are dirt cheap. How much is opium going for? How much See, this is the only thing. I don't know how much I bought the opium for. I can't remember. And this is the bad thing for me. Especially bad when I used to do all the marijuana back in the day because memory is terrible with that. Uh, right, so I started off with two grand. I've now got 306, so uh, that is uh, 1,600, 1,694, so that's 845, 847. Right, so, uh, okay, well, it doesn't matter because we can still buy the loot. We've got a bit of moolah left, so we'll just buy as many as we can, which fills the bag, which is awesome. And then we are full. So oh, let's uh, let's visit what we've got here. So 847 and four. Welcome to the first bank, Starcom. <laughs> of Starcom, the teller says with an obviously fake smile, enthusiastic tone. How may I help you today, sir? And or and or madam? Oh, okay, fair enough. Well. I think I'm going to take all your money, you say as you draw your weapon. We have no weapon, unless I punch you in the face. Now, I'd like to put in or take out some money, or... This isn't Chicken Hut! You exclaim, I gotta go! That's the one we do. Don't get the bargain bucket. I couldn't get my words out today. Don't get the bargain bucket unless you want hepatitis, she says. Okay. Right, so let's go to Ball Station. Amongst, um, if they got the same voice, I can't even remember what voice I did the first time. On. Among suicidal alcoholics, I'm a gem. She laughs out loud, then stops suddenly and gets a weird look on her face. There we go. I could see that, you say. I know a lot of them. Mm. Next stop, ball station. The bus driver bellows over the loudspeaker. Yes, we've done all that bit. Right, so. Uh, and see, this is the issue. Because not all the drugs are sold everywhere, sometimes you'll just turn up and there's nothing to buy or sell, which is what we have here. What is here, though? No, nothing. Okay, we'll crack on then. Maybe it's Alpheus Park. Let's pop to Alpheus Park. Remember that time you had the crabs? She smiles and raises her eyebrows. And the only thing that made it better was this cream. She pulls out a tub of what looks like a combination of peanut butter and dog vomit. Ugh. You scratch your crotch a little and smile at her back. She knows. She knows. Next up, Alpheus Park. Okay. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> you whip around to see a cop appear out of seemingly nowhere. You're under arrest! Turn around and put your hands on top of your head! I do Again, I'm really sorry about these accents. I'm doing my best. Oh, shit! I've got to do it in the British accent. Oh, shit! You exclaim. <laughs> right, uh, please don't kill me. Right, we've got to run. So, Trolley, keep up, asshole! You say as you bolt in the other direction. 
Oh no, you don't! He screams and then goes for his shoulder radio thing. Officer in pursuit! Requesting backup! Leg it, leg it, leg it. You step off around the corner and look back to see the cop bite it on the turn. You laugh as you run around the next corner and surely ditch him. Cool. Ah, there we go. Ah, see? See? It goes higher. It's good, it's good. So we can sell some of that. It's a bit of moolah back. Transact. And it was good on the loot. We can sell all those too. So what we got now? 3,940. So we've almost doubled our money, although it's taken us a few days to do it. And with that in mind, is there anything worth buying? See, heroin's very high at the moment. Uh, DMT, I don't know too much about. Weed, yeah. I've seen it going a little bit higher. LSD's high. Meth, I'm not so sure on. Shrooms, yeah. We need to take a, a, a dive at something. Let's go, let's go for weed. 498, that doesn't seem too bad. 498, gotta remember that. Anything here? I guess what you want to pine up, but I don't think that's why you're here, the bartender says as he takes a quick shot. He is sizing you up the whole time. Or are you actually here for a tasty adult beverage? Uh, I'm here to whip your monkey ass, actually. <laughs> I'm looking for a little muscle so you can hire people. That's interesting. I think someone shit in the seat earlier. In this seat earlier. He says you stand up and leave. That might have been me, he replies as you bust out through the door and head outside. Right, so as you can see, as you find these things, they are sort of tallied up, so you know exactly where to go, which is why I tend to try and get around everywhere first go. So let's go to Hillside next. She watches you sit down and then smiles at you. You know, she starts, I used to be like you, slanging dope all over town, but then I decided to do my whole inventory in one sitting. She then gets a glazed look over. Glazed over look? on her face lost in the memory geez that was hard to say i i don't you stammer and while you hadn't planned on it prior you now decide to never do the drugs you are carrying wow see those are the best dealers or oh, those are the ones which make the money anyway next stop hillside right so no weed boo uh is there anything i can buy we can buy some lewds but they seem really expensive opium is yeah again uh, DMT, good thing we did not buy DMT, so it can go as low as 900. Good to note. Anything here? Hey there, welcome to Pinky's Gun Emporium, he says with a big old smile. What can I do for you? Hello yourself, you respond with an equally sized smile. Uh, again, we're just looking, so no public restrooms, you say with disappointment, exiting shortly after. There's a bucket in the alley, he says. That's the best I can do for you buddy okay thank you right so murphy's lake next we've still got these uh, what, what the hell do we have on us again weed for 500 that was right so let's let's try murphy's lake did you know that dj fragile x's new cd just dropped she hands you a grimy leaflet with the announcement on it Ooh. oh shit you exclaim as you look at the fire i gotta download that action next up murphy's lake you look like the kind of guy who could use a bigger book bag, am I right? The man says with a smirk. He holds out two clearly larger bags than the one you're carrying. A hundred for this one and ten ex with ten extra spaces, he says, holding up one. Or this one for two hundred. That holds twenty more. Okay, we shall go for the two hundred. I need a lot more room. The two hundred one, please, sir. An excellent choice, he says, and tosses you the bag after you slip him two hundred dollars. See you around, old son. He nods and heads off. You are increased your carry space by 20. Right, so weed, weed, weed. No weed. No weed. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, ecstasy's dirt cheap. Let's buy some ecstasy. And we'll buy as many as we can. Uh, 14. That's not too bad. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Anything here? No. All right, so off to Shorf. Fun Park. That is a new one. Uh, Shorf. Some of you guys are right. You don't go to Crockford tomorrow. But don't go to Crockford tomorrow, she says in an ominous voice while staring you dead in the eyes. Okay. What the fuck? You mutter, you mutter to yourself as you break eye contact. Next stop, Shorf. Right, so weed. See, it's worth holding on to. Let's get rid of that weed. Sell, 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 sell. Six grand. And uh, that's about it. Speed's mighty cheap, though. Let's buy some speed. Uh, 46 of that. Not too shabby for Pudgy. Anything here? 
Welcome to the St. Jesus Memorial Hospital, the nurse says in a monotone voice without looking up from her phone. After an uncomfortable pause, she finally glances at you and says, What do you need? What the hell's on it going on with her nose? Uh, she's obviously one of these uh, doctors that st- oh, nurses that stays up all the day on cocaine. I can sort you out, uh, love. Well, not yet, but I can do. Give me a number. Uh, you know, I think I'm in the wrong place, actually, you say. That's what we press. There we go. Whatever, she says with a huge amount of disinterest and goes back to looking at her phone. All right, so let's go to clock. No, she says don't go to clock four. Let's go to the fun bar. Lock those cocksuckers downtown at the First Bank of Starkham took all my money. She starts off with a tear in her eye. Is there any way you could loan me $10,000 until my next government check comes in? You stare at her for a second, then just slowly shake your head. No. Next up, the Finnegan Brothers Fun Park. Never been here before. Oh, look, it's it's all fun parky. All right, so ecstasy. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Um, what else did we buy? I can't even remember. What the hell we got in that backpack? Speed. Speed. Uh, speed? Speed? No speed. Ecstasy is a minor increment there. Uh, I'm going to hold off on ecstasy there, I think. Anything here? Nothing at the thumb park. Okay. Uh, let's pop over to Crockford then. Move a little closer, she whispers creepily. Closer. You say nothing but calmly move a few seats away. <laughs> Next up, Crockford. Right, so. Weed. Uh, mm. Speed and ecstasy. Uh, we're not selling any of them. Right, well, at least we've been everywhere now and there's nothing here anyway. So let's go back downtown. She motions for you to lean in closer and you do so cautiously. The old lady then whispers, I hear the cops made a big speed bust over in Crockford and the prices are fucking outrageous now. You sit back up and smile at her. That's what I like to hear. Next stop downtown. Boom. And there we go. How much speed do we have on us? 46. Oh, no, 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 no. We're selling. We're selling. Get rid of this. Sell, sell, sell. Sell, sell, sell. What day are we on? Nine. Ooh. Okay. 12 grand nice and ecstasy that's about double from what we bought so that is also very cool all right so we have got sixteen thousand. heroin is pretty cheap dmt we've seen cheaper cocaine's from sky high at the moment um i've seen heroin cheaper let i'll tell you what let's keep the money and go to the loan shark and pay him off Word on the street is, the old lady starts to say the moment you sit down, that one of Swelly Mike's goons robbed a supply of ketamine from St. Jesus Hospital. Prices have dropped temporarily, but now there is extra security at the hospital. So we're looking for ketamine. You roll your eyes as you often do during one of her rants, but you also consider the fact of crazy cheap ketamine. Mm. Next up, Garville. Right, so before we do that, let's visit Sweaty Mike. You got my money, bitch! <laughs> Sweaty Mike says with disdain. Uh, I am indeed here to make a payment, my good sir, you say with a smile. And we want to pay everything. Clear. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's get out of here. Uh, we want to now buy m- lots and lots of ketamine. As much as we can. 16. So 858. We shall rem- try and remember that. Uh, loads are relatively cheap. We'll go for some of those as well. 85821. And... Uh, Let's go over to the gun store and see if we can get rid of these and maybe buy a gun. Did you know there's rats? She started while staring out. She, she starts while staring out the window. You know they were. There were. She then turns. Let's start again. Did you know there's rats? She starts while staring out the window. You know they were. She then turns her gaze towards you. There's people. They're not real. That's who you are. That's what you are. You stare at her for a second, then awkwardly get up from your seat and move as close to the driver as you can. Next up, hillside. You look like the kind of guy who could use a bigger book bag. Am I right? We've done this bit. Do- Balls, you say, as you dig through your pockets. I don't seem to ha- have enough money. A small tear forms in the corner of your eye. Ah. Oh, that's too bad, Mank, he says with a smile. Maybe I'll catch you later on. Okay. So, ketamine is sky high. We shall be selling all of that. Nice and lewds. Selling all of that. So that's 60,000. Let's go and buy a gun. 
Hey there, welcome to Pinky's Gun Emporium. He says, with a big old smile, what can I do for you? Uh, I would like to purchase a man destroyer, you say, looking at the ammo. You pick out the one that suits you best, and I'll finish your federal background checker real quick, he says with a wink. Alright, so we can buy a revolver, it's pretty cheap, pistol, SMG, assault SMG. Takes up four inventory spaces. Uh, pump, sh what's that, 20 to 40, pump shotgun, 25 to 50. It's not really worth the step up, is it, for a minimum of five. So let's have an assault M SMG, because, you know, that's what all the dealers carry, isn't it? Isn't it? It is now. Right, so we have one of those. And uh, let's uh, buy some more drugs. Right, so, DMT is relatively expensive. Peyote seems... Oh, opium is really cheap. Let's buy lots of opium. Nice. And let's go to the fun park, because everyone likes opium at a fun park. Among suicidal alcoholics... I oh, almost done that bit, okay. Okay. Next up, Finnegan... Yeah, I'm going to stop doing this, I think, now. It's getting a bit old, isn't it? All right, so opium. Uh, we uh, so much, Well, I suppose opium isn't really a fun drug. You sort of t tend to mong out on it, don't you? So, uh, never mind. Uh, yes, I don't think we can do anything here. Let's go to... Let's go to Ball Station. Ah, oh, son of a... I think as I... Sh I just shit my pants <laughs> as she reaches down and starts smashing it through her already stained short pants. Jeez. That explains it, you say, as politely as possible, mostly to avoid her touching you with it. You then move over a couple of seats. Next up, Ball Station. Surprise, motherfucker! You ship... Oh, you whip around to see a cop appear out of seemingly nowhere. You're under arrest. Turn around and put your hands on top of your head. Oh, shit, you exclaim. Whatever you say, officer. Well, I'm not going to do that. Please don't kill me or try to keep up, asshole. Uh, as, as you say, draw your weapon. Yeah, let's, we, let's kill him. Should we try and kill him? Let's try and kill him. Let's try and kill him. Why, you little... He, be, he begins as he sees you, your weapon and goes for his... <gasps> right, okay, so a fiendish opponent approaches, but you get the upper hand by being steady and ready. Attack! You attack Officer Harding with your assault SMG, and by the grace of the flying spaghetti monster, you make a critical hit, and that's times two damage, son. Officer Harding was hit with 56 damage. You're gonna run? You're gonna run? Officer Han Harding brandishes a super shiny pistol and attacks. Maybe you should have defended. Why? Because you got hit for exactly 12 damage. Attack again! You attack Officer Harding with your Assault SMG. It's like you tried to miss on purpose. Not just miss, but critically miss. You end up hurting yourself for one damage in the process. Idiot. Officer Harding takes a step back and prepares for your next attack. Defensive maneuver. Didn't see that coming. Uh, let's defend ourselves. You cross your arms in a defensive stance. Clearly anime has taught you nothing of value because this is not really the best way to defend yourself. However, it will have to make do for now. Officer Harding brandishes a super shiny pistol and attacks, and defending didn't seem to do you any favours either. Officer Harding makes a direct hit, which causes 15 damage. Let's hit him again. You attack Officer Harding with your assault SMG, and despite Officer Harding's best intentions to defend, you manage to cause 21 to damage. Boosh! Officer Harding takes a step back and prepares for your next attack. Defensive manoeuvre. Didn't see that coming. Right, let's uh, attack again. You attack Officer Harding with your assault SMG, but you miss! Son of a sea biscuit! To be fair, Officer Harding was defending, or at least that's what you tell someone watching this fight. Officer Harding branches a super shiny pistol and attacks. Maybe you should have defended. Why? Because he hits you for exactly 17 damage. Let's kill him. What? Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. All right, let's just finish him off. No, we missed him. Okay. Uh, he misses me. That's fine. And we kill... Oh, we... So kill him. You attack Officer Harding with your assault SMG and actually succeed at making contact with 24 points of damage. Good job! And that was just enough to defeat Officer Harding. You snagged the $8,580 from his wallet, but your heat went up by 9%. Then, just in case, you flee the scene. Ah, uh, well, we better go to the hospital. Did you know that DJ Fred Oh, done this bit? Oh, shit. Yes, we know. Right, what do we have on us? Opium. No opium, but we can heal. Uh, yeah, we need to be healed. Oh, just making sure. Oh, no, we're not doing that. I'm in need of some medical attention. Uh, let's have a look. So, 
Uh, I want to be insured. How do I be insured? Uh, so I want to heal up uh, 44. So that is 30. Uh, sorry, uh, 56. Yep, there we go. Okay, back onto the town. Let's go back downtown. The end game is obesity, she says with a far, far look in her eyes. You are well on your way then, ma'am. You fly to another seat as you move to another seat. Next stop, downtown. Right, so opium. It's not too good, not too good. Um, hash is cheap. Do we just take the hit and buy some hash? I think we will. So sell all of that. Herring's expensive. Yeah, let's go for hash. Uh, then we go... Yeah, let's put some money in the bank too. Uh, money is... Uh, right, so we want to deposit and we want to put in... Um, we haven't invested too much. Let's put in 25,000. That saves that. And then hash. So let's pop to Murphy's Lake. And we've done the rat thing. Yep, yep, yep. No hash at the lake? Uh, okay, uh, let's go to Crockford. She sighs and slumps back in her seat while staring at you. Did you hear those damn addicts are buying acid at ridiculous prices again? I have not, actually. You respond and start start looking through your book bag to see if you have any. No, no, no. Ah, uh, yes, we shall buy more room. Let's buy more room. So we've got 20 more spaces. That is very good. Uh, and no hash here either. Jeez. Uh, in fact, let's start. we've got some cash. What can we buy? Ecstasy is relatively cheap. Peyote seems cheap. Let's go with peyote. 259. Gotta remember that. Back to Garville. Yeah, I've done the CD thing. Right, peyote. Hash has gone up a bit, so we'll sell that. Back someone. And peyote. Let's get rid of it. Right, so speed is okay. Ha oh, it does turn hash. PCP is quite expensive. DMT is. Bath salt, one, two, six. Do we take a risk on that? Let's speed. Speed's quite high. Let's go for bath salts. Why not? Yeah, so buy. Max transact. There we go. So one, two, six on that. Where do we go from here? Let's go to. Let's go back downtown. One, two, six. Oh, geez, the bad guys all all over the place today. Let's buy more. Why not? No bath salts. No bath salts. We've got space now, though. So. Um, We could do weed is by oh, speed really cheap. We'll go for speed. Ninety-five. Speed of our salts. Oh, that sounds like a party. Uh let's go back to Alpheus Park. Okie dokie. There we go. 183. Yeah, it's it's minor. So let's uh, sell all we can there. 63. Let's buy some Coke. 15 grand. It's a nice easy one to remember. Uh, let's pop to the fun park. Homemade acid is on the go. Ah, I see. So speed. That was a good, good transaction there. Get rid of that coke. That's eight grand made there. And then we want to buy lots and lots of acid. Where's the acid? Wow, it is cheap. All right. So max out that. 486 and we want to go back to the bank on that oh oh that was that's perfect so we've gone from having really low price of acid to really high price and uh, we do have lots of that how much is acid going for this could be the maker for us you pop off the bus and we press situate your backpack a bit and then head down the street to the usual corner you always focus on something weird looking on the sidewalk walk ahead of you 
Okay, this doesn't sound good. After walking a few yards more, you find a perfectly good minigun with a, a, a yeah, really weird name scratched into the barrel. Unfortunately, you have no room for it and send it to the shady merchant in the alley for 500,000 instead. Well, now you exclaim. Okay, I'll, I, I can live with that. I can live with that. Uh, and we'll sell all the LSD as well. Sell. <laughs> ah. Good. <laughs> good, good, good. Uh, in which case, um, let us buy lots and lots of cocaine. That's how everyone celebrates, I believe. 1518. And we can just about afford that. And let's go to the bank and put in the little bit of money we have. So that is 11065. Then now, where do you shift coke? Uh, in fact, let's just uh, see the price again. 19,000. Where can I shift coke? Uh, let's go back to Garville. Uh, nothing good to say there. 19 still. I can afford to sit on that for the time being. So let's try the fun part. Uh, the old lady watches you sit down and then moves into the seat next to you and pulls out a small pocket knife you freeze in place with some odd reason and she, as she pointed an inch away from your face I bet you're not reading any of that this shit are you? she asks reading what shit you respond sheepishly, sheepishly as she eyes you and then puts the knife away and returns to her favourite seat dear oh dear ah that's what we were waiting for boom 23 nice 300,000 made up all right, so uh, heroin's expensive. LSD is quite cheap. I've seen it more expensive than that. It's one I'm comfortable with buying. So let's buy the maximum of that. And uh, we need to go back to the bank sharpish. Uh, hang on a sec. How do I get off this? There we go. How much was it again? 1,100, right. Uh, we're going to ignore her. You see some bad dudes with baseball bats hollow at you from across the street. Someone probably let them know you were slanging and you have a good idea who, but for now you've got to get the fuck out of here. You manage to escape after running around the corner, then ducking down an alley or two. But after stopping to catch your breath, you notice you've dropped 96 of your LSD. <sighs> that, that was everything, wasn't it? Oh, jeez. Okay, well, looks like we're buying again. Um, the weed, I suppose. It's relatively cheap. Ecstasy is not bad. Let's go. Mm. Let's go with weed. Why not? Let's go with weed. Three, two, three. I'm going to keep the money on me for the time being. Uh, back to Garville. Um, we've got. What have we got now? Ketamine again. Okay. Oh jeez. Uh, right. Well, we're gonna go kill him. Let's 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 kill him. Why are you little? Okay. Here we go. So attack. Oh, we missed him. Uh, he's defending, so we'll defend. Uh, he misses. We'll attack. Uh, we miss. Uh, he attacks and missed, so we'll hit. Wow, 78. Crit. Crit, son. Oh, hit me too. Okay, let's do it again. Oh, dear. Oh, he's hit me, so I hit him. Dead. 7,000 for the... Oh, eight, so is that 18% we're up to now on the heat? That's not too good. That's not too good. Uh, right, okay. So, fun park, I guess. Uh, don't go to Crop Fort tomorrow. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god, okay, right, right, right. Um, let's try and lose him. Oh no, okay, right, attack. Got him. Defensive, so we'll defend. He misses, so we'll attack. Uh, yeah, he miss, he hits me. So we'll attack. Oh jeez. He hits me again, we'll attack. Uh, he misses, so we'll attack. Oh, come on, son. Oh, jeez. Attack! Boom! Oh, he hasn't got a lot of him. He must be, he must be a very poor police officer. 
Uh, we need we need the hospital. The lady, the old lady pulls out a weird looking vaporizer and takes three big rips off it while looking out the windows. She finally looks over to you and offers it. You like getting wet? You wave your hand in refusal of her offer and move over three seats. Probably sensible. Can't move. Can't buy anything. What we got? Weed. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we need to get healed up anyway, so uh, let's do so. Um, we need 77 health. Nice. Okay. We need, oh, so we've got two days left. Let's go back downtown for the time being. Uh, so, Happy Chow Lucky got busted smuggling opium inside the soy sauce cases. So, opium's going to be high. We have no opium on us. So, that's not very good. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to run because I'm getting bored of this. There we go. Right. So, weed. That was okay. So, let's sell that. And this is the last one. So, let's buy some heroin. A million. Do you want to buy a million heroin? Not really. I think I'll have a smaller deal this time. Peyote is pretty cheap. Let's go with speed. 145. That's not too bad. I'll pop to the bank. Yes, you can have my monies. And you can have 17521881. Mm-hmm. 1.7 million. Not bad for 30 days work. And then just check once more. Speed. At 145. And we'll finish in Garville. Uh, we're not worried about that now. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to leg it again. Um, oh, all right. So we're going to fight. Boom. Take it. And again. Oh, we hit him again. He heals. Since when are we allowed to heal? Killed him anyway. I hear you've been stirring up shit out there, so what he might say is about looking up from his stack of ones. Might be that I could help you with that problem, he chuckles a bit. Takes a key bump and looks up at you. For about 20, 260,000, that is. I'm about 50 cents short, I'll come back later. But I think you just add to your list. But I think I'll just add you to the list of charges instead. I don't know what's going on. Hang on. An interesting proposition you have there, you say, while considering it. But I actually came to ask for another loan. I am about 50 cents short. I'll come back later. Clearly lying. But I think I'll just add you to the list of charges instead. Uh, we'll, we'll lie to the guy. Well, it sounds like we have been... We have absolutely no business to conduct then. He immediately frowns and furrows his brow. And that means you are just wasting my time then. He fingers the handle of the gun in his waistband. I suggest you fuck off and come back when you actually need something. Okay, I just want to get off this page. Okay, can I not... So am I stuck with this money then? We'll go downtown then. Hey, everyone! I really wanted to get rid of those drugs, but I couldn't. So there you go. Holy soup! You actually won the game. Raised 1 million... 1.8 million... Or 1 million 800,029... 1 million 829,404 dollars. Pay back your debts and ultimately escape the city of Starkham. You can play again or... Or rest easy knowing you have won at least once. I am going to rest easy. That, my friends, is the dope game. It is pretty cheap. Um, as you can see, a lot of things repeat in the, in the sayings. According to this, the game's out of date, but Steam's on auto-update, so I don't quite know what's going on there. But it's a fun little game, and it's something you can play You know, when you've got five, ten minutes spare. So I would suggest, you know, maybe next time it's on sale, it's worth picking up, and it's something you can just jump into every so often. Not for kids, mind. Not for kids, so uh, just uh, keep that in mind. Well, if you haven't learned that now, then you'll never learn, will you? So, that's it. That's my two weeks of um, pre-recorded stuff done. So, as of next week, I will hopefully have some fresh stuff. If you don't see anything come out immediately from next week, it's because uh, I haven't got my internet up, but it should be up, and I, I should be back to normal. And hopefully, I should be a little bit energised for having a break, because it has been very hard for me the past few weeks, juggling this and um, moving and everything which goes with moving like address changes and working my boss has been away for the past two weeks as well so uh, i've been having to play the boss as well which is is not fun it all happens at once doesn't it but uh, yeah as i said it should be finished very soon so 
Thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Word to your mother.